These are some of our coral cactus varieties. These plants are also known as Euphorbia lactea cristata. This plant is most commonly found in India and is native to the tropical parts of Asia. Hi there! Welcome and welcome back to our channel. My name is Mommy G. A year ago, we have shown you our coral cactus varieties. One of them died and the rest have thrived. Here they are about 15 months or more than a year ago. Coral cactus can be grafted or rooted directly in soil. The rootstock is also a euphorbia. Our white ghost is grafted on a euphorbia nerifolia based, while another one of our variegated coral cactus is grafted on a euphorbia trigona base. Coral cactus can also be grown directly in soil, like this one. Some plant care used a fast draining soil mix. For us, we're using 100% pumice. We water the plant when the soil is dry and we expose it to some direct sun. This is our coral cactus before and let's look at how it has grown after 15 months. This is the green variety. We have growth at the top of the coral cactus and some of the growth is already the normal Euphorbia lactea. The crest has not been maintained on the longer growth. Euphorbia lactea cristata derives its name based on how it looks. These plants are shaped like corals. Let's also look at the growth of one of our Lactea cristata variegata. This is what it looks like when it grew. It does resemble a coral. And what happened is that some of its growth are the regular Euphorbia Lactea. You'll also notice that the variegations in the branches vary which makes it quite interesting. This plant is not a cactus, though it is commonly named as coral cactus. Cactus and euphorbia are from a different plant family. Euphorbia lactea grows very, very tiny leaves, as you can see, and then as the leaves get older, they fall off the stem. So at times you will see Euphorbia lactea with no leaves. Euphorbia lactea can be propagated by cutting the stems and drying it and then rooting it. This plant can also be propagated by grafting it onto another Euphorbia. Grafting a Euphorbia into a rootstock can be quite tricky. And we have created a step-by-step -step guide on that. You may check the link in the description below or search it in our channel. Before we end, let me show you how the coral cactus differs with the regular Euphorbia lactea. We purchased sets of this regular Euphorbia because though they don't look as unique as the coral cactus. They're actually quite interesting and beautiful to look at as well. What I've learned is that you can also propagate the growth of the coral cactus that are long and use that as the regular euphorbia. Coral cactus can be quite expensive. In the Philippines, you can buy one for $10 or more. 
while in other countries, the price range from $50 or more. That's it. We hope that you enjoyed this video and you learned something. Feel free to share this with your friend or friends if you find it useful. Stay safe and healthy and we'll see you on our next video. Bye!